The giant crystal cave in Mexico had conditions that were just right, so the salt solutions grew crystals the size of the Oberstein clock tower. We are going to observe a similar effect at much lower temperatures by cooling a saturated salt solution at different rates. The common uh, name for the salt solution that we're going to be using is Epsom salt, but it's called magnesium sulfate. And people add this to their baths to soothe their aching muscles. The mineral it forms is known as Epsomite. And our aim today is to investigate how cooling rate affects the growth of Epsomite crystals. We started by making a solution of magnesium sulfate by adding the solid Epsom salts to water. And then we labeled the slides with cold and room temperature. The cold slide went in the freezer. We then set up the microscope so that it's ready to use with 40 times magnification. And we used a glass rod to add a streak of the magnesium sulfate solution to the slide marked room temperature. Then we observed the slide under the microscope. And this is what we saw. We repeated that process for our cold slide. We'd straight from the freezer and we worked as quickly as possible. And this is the result.